happy Friday, everybody. Um, I just want to say I am so over the moon excited. I will be working with my bikini coach again, Coach KD. Um, this time it is strictly building, um, building my physique, um, hopefully getting me ready for another show. It, I don't know if I'll be able to make any of the last few months of this year, but hopefully next year. Um, it's so much different and I think better when you have a coach there to see the outside of you um, when you're like lost in your head and so to motivate you and encourage you and keep you accountable. So I'm really excited. This will be my third NPC bikini show, and this one means a lot to me because it's in Atlanta, Georgia, but that was my first ever show. So to go back now and show them how much I've changed and grown, it's just gonna be so awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm just super excited. A lot of things were mostly myself telling me why I shouldn't do it, travel, money, um, last time I did prep, I wasn't working at the time, so I could focus more. This time, I have work, I have school, um, and I'm just, just trying to tell myself, would you just calm down and, you know, try to have fun right now, and just, it'll be a better time next year. Like, the time will be better next year. But I was thinking about competing every day. I prayed a lot about it, and I would, like, tell God, like, if this happens, then I'll compete. If this happens, then I'll compete. And like, every time, the things would happen. <laughs> so like, I lost my NPC card, it showed up. Um, I said, okay, if coach allows me to compete, I'll compete. It was just like all these things. And like, when I got confirmation today from coach that he's been waiting for me to confirm, like, I almost started crying at the gym of just pure, happiness number one thing to take away from this guys that do not wait for when the time is right and perfect there is no such thing absolutely um, obviously do something that you're passionate about where you feel comfortable you know financially and you know mentally all that but in the end there's no such thing as the perfect time things about being on prep um, and I love prep I don't mind it um, I like the challenge and the glam that we talk about at the end is just so so worth it um, there's no better feeling than that meaningful hard work that paid off and you get to show show it off so number one prep is like having timely mannered homework that you have to do 
every day. Um, if you don't eat at a certain time, which is every two to three hours, and if you miss a meal, that's bad. Um, so making sure you're eating in a timely manner, where you're getting all of your workout in. Um, it's like daily homework. Number two, prep is like being under 21 and not going out to drink with your friends and being that awkward one that just can't drink while everyone else is. Um, and although it's not by age, it's by choice this time. Um, yeah, just trying to go out and be social um, without uh, having to drink. Number three, back with the food. Um, prep is like having a dietary restriction and you have to bring your meals out wherever you go. You can't have anything else outside of what you make in your kitchen. Um, kind of like having a dairy allergy or being gluten free or whatever it is. Um, except mine is everything and I can't touch anything else except my cooking. Look what just came in today. I have um, some global formulas. I have my bio lean and my bio heat. Um, I'm gonna track the progress so you guys see just how well these supplements work. I used bio heat in my last prep and crazy, crazy amount of changes. This, um, in a way, like heats up your body, um, makes you sweat more. Bio lean, um, so. I mean, speeds up metabolism, um, increased lean muscle. So I'm excited to use this one. Um, overall, I mean, I'm doing my prescribed workouts, but these will assist in um, the constant burn and the high metabolism. So really, really excited. Um, it's that constant, like, cardio um, effect to your body that will keep going carrying it out a little bit longer um, than when I just do at the gym so I'll track and I'll show you guys how it goes so um, some of you guys have been asking how prep is going and I have five weeks left the way I think about it five weeks left to give it everything I've got um, of training left before the show and I just got my new plan from coach and I mean you guys can kind of like get a little hint um, but I have to do Epsom salt baths, ice baths, massages, fasted and post cardio along with my lifting sessions, um, abs and then daily homework and my weekly homework is three times a week. <laughs> so a lot a lot I'm writing it all down very organized um, but we're definitely kicking it up a notch, um, and it's really exciting. And also can't forget, um, constantly going to the grocery store, making sure I'm meal prepping every day, um, practicing posing every day, along with being back in school and working and <laughs> trying to have a social life. <laughs> I did this to myself though, but, um. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great show. I'm really excited to show you guys the hard work. I'm like all bandaged up. Um, I had to get some blood work done for EMT school, but um, thankfully my doctor is also one of my best friends. So he's like, you know, since you're doing um, bodybuilding, do you want to just check on? your overall internal health, you know, metabolism, vitamin levels, and everything like that, so, um, got that done, just gotta make sure I'm internally healthy as well, um, because we go through much strain on our bodies during prep, 